Hello makers and welcome to 3D HP. My name is Jerry and I had a quick little project I'd like to show you here that I did on my Lasermatic 10 from Rolly. And I made a cool little sign there. I uh, went down, tell you a quick story. I went down to Lowe's, I bought some mirror, very reasonably priced. I believe you get four to six pieces of a mirror. And I figured, you know what, I got a cool new logo that uh, Nick Harbour made for me. He's a great designer in the community, and he's done many logos for many uh, awesome streamers and uh, people on YouTube. So I figured, you know what? I want to make a sign. So I went into Lightburn, went up to Laser Tools at the top, under Material Test, put my mirror and my laser here, and I just ran a generic material test to see how it would come out. And after doing so, I held this up to the light, I picked a setting that I liked, Drop my logo in a light burn, and since I'm working with a 12 inch by 12 inch mirror, I sized it up accordingly, I flipped the image, and then I done some test burns on the back of the mirror. And I'll throw it up here on the screen, some of my settings, just to give you an idea. Now I'm totally experimenting. I haven't done this over and over and over, numerous tests. I tend to fly by the seat of my pants and bang things out, and if they work, they work, they don't, they don't got many hobbies I'm always working on something different so I found one that I liked let me see if I can flip this over here I'm gonna give you an idea here and of course you need to run a test because some of your letters may not come out you know you just got to kind of experiment and kind of see what you like what you don't like what's too light what's too dark and just kind of experiment and then when you find one that you like go ahead and throw your mirror in Increase the size of whatever you want and burn the job. Now, this took 15 hours to burn. Very long time. And uh, I found some 2x3 wood that I had out in the garage. I cut it down on my DeWalt compound miter saw. Made a picture frame. To cut the trough for the mirror, I threw it on my table saw. And I cut a groove in it. Sadly, I only cut one groove in it because when I finished my mirror and I went to put it in the frame I was using a rubber mallet. I had the mirror down on the table a wooden table The frame was partially on it and I was very carefully tapping back and forth to get it to slide all the way in But it was tight and I even greased it up a little bit. It was very tight Well, I got down to about the last two inches and BAM I broke the mirror. I think I might have a picture here I'll show it on the screen so I said a few choice words really loud, and then I had to start over. So once again, another fifth threw it in, light burn. Didn't remember what my settings were from the first go around, so I had to kind of re-experiment and go through this process again of finding one that I liked. And I reburned it for another 15 hours. <clears throat> I took the frame out over the garage, took it apart. Two sides I'd had glued together and screwed with some wood screws. Got it, got it all apart, cleaned up, put it in the garbage, went back to my table saw, took that one slot, and I cut right next to it, and I made it double wide. So now it's got plenty of wiggle room putting the new mirror in. That worked perfectly fine. And then once I dropped the mirror in, I'll show you here on the back side in a minute, when I take it apart, um, I hot glued it in. That way the mirror can't vibrate and move around from a little bit, having a little excess play. And then I found some um, LED light strips out around the house. You know, the kind you pull the tape off the back and they just stick. And I did not have a battery pack with a remote. Because if I had a battery pack, I wouldn't have to tether this off USB to plug into my PC. I didn't have one available, so I'm kind of poor at the moment. So I went with what I had. And I tethered it. I ran it in. I ordered some little connectors off Amazon so I could connect two light strips together. And uh, yeah, and, and here's the end result. It changes colors, it's got a mirror, it's beautiful, I love it. I hope you guys love it too. As far as for the wood, I have to do some touch-up. You can see where the frame I had taken apart here in a couple places. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. You kind of get the idea. And I uh, got, got some spray paint, some textured spray paint, and I prayed, sprayed the frame very well after I glued it together. And then just dropped the mirror in, put in a light strip, and wham, bam, there you go, it's done. But I think it looks pretty awesome. And the Raleigh, the Raleigh Lasermatic 10, done an awesome, amazing job on it. I'm loving this style of laser. It has so, it has every possible option that you could want on it. 
you know, the light burn camera right there in the middle. You want to center if you work with light burns right there. It's got a fan, linear rails, honeycomb bed, Wi Fi. Haven't hooked it up, haven't tried the Wi Fi. Um, like I say, the rotary roller comes with it, the air assist that comes with it. Beautiful machine, just loving it. So, all steel construction, except for the acrylic panels. But yeah, here, let me show you some pictures here on the back side. We'll uh, show you how I took that apart. Okay, the back side, I simply have a couple tabs holding it in place and a piece of double sided tape down here to hold my wire. You can click these out of the way. Got them on there pretty tight. There we go. And there you have it. Got lights in it all the way around. It's hot glued in. They change colors. I'm going to add some thin uh, ply board out in the garage with like a thick cardboard that I cut for the backing. Got a little groove there it fits in. Here's a remote for changing colors. Like I say, you can buy these on Amazon that are battery operated. That way your batteries could be inside the unit and you set it on the shelf, mount it on the wall. Pretty much whatever you like. Here we got blue, red, yellow. Kind of a turquoise. Light green. Yeah, it looks amazing. You can set these remotes up to when you play music, they blink on and off. A lot of different settings you can do with it. But yeah, I think it came out beautiful. So, hope this gives some of you guys some ideas on things you can make. But yeah, um, it works awesome, you know, engraving the mirror. Like I say, you engrave the back side of the mirror. I flip the image over in uh, Lightburn. And uh, very cool. So... But yeah, if you're interested in a really cool uh, dial laser, check out this Lasermatic 10 from Rolly. Amazing machine. I'm loving the hell out of it. So I currently have the two lasers. I've got my Otur Laser Master 3 right over there behind the sign. And then I've got this Rolly. I'm loving this Rolly. It's uh, very cool. And I'm loving that sign. So today is 4th of July. So happy 4th America. And uh, I'll try to get this video out ASAP. But please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. Later, everybody.